So, and of course, so I think that, you know, Ravel was one of these composers that was, um, like 17 away, was incredibly specific about what was allowed in the school. Um, and so the sense is that we've taken time to turn this here, but I don't think, you know, we've got, there's gonna be time here, and there's gonna be time here, with the Rollins and other Richard Musil, um, and probably another one, that I think where there isn't that, we should keep going, yeah? Um, and even this very simple here, uh, um, sorry. So you always wait for the C sharp, but phrasing wise, it's throwing as ye, da 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 and then ta ye is, is together, yeah? So I wouldn't wait either, neither here nor here. Now, a slightly bigger issue, I think that these Rolantando go, this, this, on poor retenue, do you know what that means? A little bit slower, right? You're like, uh, you go into another dimension, yeah? And, and I don't think that, um, so I think, that first of all, the Ritardando, Ritanuto or Ritardando, we're not sure which, but goes uh, into the new tempo. You slow down quite a bit, and then you do something a little faster here, but it's still quite slow. I'd like for this to be more organic, whereas that you go into this tempo, yeah? I'm not so fond of your pedaling choice here, specifically because he marks quarter notes. So this, uh, uh, this is in this music here. These are marked as quarters, and if you're pedaling through the whole thing, that distinction is lost, yeah? And a little bit of clarity. And also, what also happens when you leave the pedal down is that we accumulate overtones, we accumulate sound, where we're trying to do the opposite here in triple piano. So I would give that some thought. Um, Now, here's another um, another thing. Oh, yeah, this happens so many times. It's funny how um, uh, young people like to start, uh, you have, you know, crescendos often start too soon and too much, um, which you don't do, it's good. But then oh, the other thing that sometimes happens is the diminuendo happens too soon. So we have the fortissimo here. Diminuendo is marked here. This measure should still be forte. So you can just r really grade it out, you know, you say, I've got to get down to mezzo piano here. I've got four measures. How am I going to do it? So this is this is going to be fortissimo. This is fortissimo minus, say, or you can call it forte. Mezzo forte for two measures, and then your, your mezzo piano. But you were down to like mezzo something here, yeah. And then you don't have any room to get softer. The rest is more or less similar. Now I've, I've got a, a little uh, kind of a pet peeve in in terms of dynamics, which is we have a triple piano at the end, and um, we are kind of conditioned to worry about um, notes, you know, we've got to play all the notes. And so consequently, a lot of triple pianos and things get bumped up to comfortable dynamics like mezzo piano, <laughs> mezzo forte, um, uh, because there's no fear of missing the notes. But I think, you know, there's an expression of, of erring on the side of the angels. And to err on the side of the angels in a triple piano is that maybe a note doesn't sound, you know. It's better to have a note not sound, where you might even, in this tempo, <laughs> have the chance to strike it again if it doesn't sound for real, um, which actually, I think, happened to me at the end of the um, list. I was going for it, the first one didn't go. And then I played it again. I can put it at any point, right? But as opposed to doing that. Uh, so, uh, as for, for the last chords, you have triple piano diminuendo. So this here, you know, really go for, and you have to practice this, you know, as much as you practice anything else, how to feel the point of depression and, and, and the, where, where the sound begins to be made, contact with the hammer to the string. So I'd spend some time with that and be brave. In the moment of it, you have to be, you know, um, and confident. So um, let us, uh, Let's try the beginning. The other thing that's with, interesting with this piece is the, um, how it starts. What beat does it start on? Yeah, so it's and two, right? And two. It often sounds like one, two. Can you find a way to feel the sort of 
released, you know, lifted, mm, he'd, uh, he lands still onto two. We don't get a downbeat until, you know, second full measure. And I think it also helps. And the next one is and one, right? Is there, can we have a different feeling from and two to and one? It's, it's easier for me to talk about than to try and do, but see what you can do. Yeah, why do you stop there? No, stop there. Yeah, so we just, we just started. No need to stop. Mm? Mm, two, one. Two, one, two. Yeah, and now we're now we're, we're uh, we've gone from pianissimo and it's a subito. Uh, sorry, we start piano. Maybe you can be a little more generous with your crescendo, and then subito pianissimo. It's, it's good, but you, we're building, we have the Rollentano coming, keep going. Yeah, and also it's good. Um, I wonder, are you, are you still, I'm not, I wasn't really sure if your feet, are you still in una corda here? Or are you off it? It'd be good to come off, it just sounds a little, if, it's, if, that, if that's not the problem, I need to figure out what it is. But and maybe a little bit more focus in the left hand, maybe the top of the left hand. See what happens. Or, or I'm not, I don't play this, but maybe a little more focus in the left hand sound also. Let's just try it one more time. It's better. Yeah. Sorry. And can you release? Uh, it's good. It's better. This. That's a sixteenth. Yeah. So. No. He gives you the time to, to breathe. Yeah? Mm. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, if we talk about the phrasing, can you really feel the feeling of this ends? It doesn't just stop. And then you. Yeah, so, sorry, sorry. Could that, could that be clear? Yeah. What's? How are you trying to voice this? Are you going for this or this? Okay. So your left is maybe a little bit too loud. But then go. If you don't do anything, it has to go, you know, with some gusto. Can we also now have a sense of development? So, uh, you know, you just play this, but it's actually, you know, a variation. Can you yeah, be more generous? Show us that. Now, coming up, if we get that far, this is another one of these things where it's like, well, we think we're doing the right thing, but we have this diminuendo. Um, it's very hard to do all in diminuendo. So what you're actually doing is a, you're doing a hairpin. Can you see if you can manage to do the diminuendo? It's a, it's a great gesture, right? Something just evaporating and then getting energy. Uh, yeah, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm just actually hearing, it might be my fault uh, for suggesting more left hand, but it's a... Uh, Maybe it's just, a, I think it's the 30 seconds that are maybe too loud. You just, just be really specific about what kind of sound you want. And if you are going for something now and you don't get it, just stop. And see if you can really 
Um, you know, Ravel was like a, a jeweler, you know. Everything was so uh, crafted and refined and, and just polished. Every, you know, bevel, everything was, was just chiseled so precisely. Yeah, can you, can you, you know, uh, it was, this was not, um, you know, uh, WC didn't like to be called an impressionist, but it wasn't impressionist, but it was, it's not that sound world, you know. It's, it has this, it's not, um, you know, it's not Beethoven, but it's, it, it is still here very clear and just very, you know, you wanted something really beautiful. And, and maybe we haven't really talked about what's the, what's the emotional world of this? What, what do you think, what are you thinking about? Uh-huh, nostalgic, you said? Yeah, so wistful, nostalgic, a um, little bit in the past tense maybe, but then it sort of maybe, I think it sort of fades in and out of tense possibly, but um, have, have something clear in mind that you want to convey. And if you don't get it right away, just uh, stop and try again. <laughs> Okay, okay, all right. So when I'm going for something, I almost never get it right the first time. Did you really get what you wanted? Okay, then stop, yeah? That's, that's, that's the work, right? It's no, no fun, but uh, that's the work, is really trying to get it. And, and then listening, the hardest thing for us to do when we're playing, is we're, we're busy, you know, is, is, is to listen. Did I, and, and so, not only did I get or not get what I wanted, what was in the way? What was I hearing too much of, right? What do I need to hear more of? That's the a sort of circular listening that you have to do. And it's, it's hard, but try it. And then also I think once you get here, make sure you don't, um, da -da, you're kind of musically shaping this, but you're making a, a, a hairpin in here. And I'd rather you go for this full crescendo, okay? But again, do we really have something? I didn't get anything special there. It was good. Let's see if you can. Yeah, so what do you think about the timing? The see, it seems to rush to me. Do you feel that possibly? See if, see, see if maybe some of the answers in there. Yeah, and I'll just I'll just keep challenging you. Do you want to make a crescendo? Is that the gesture there, or, or, yeah? What happens if you don't? Yeah. So, happens if it just comes away. If it just you know sometimes just okay. So what is actually on the page? Let me just do that really precisely, and if it doesn't work. Then we start to move around because you're giving you're putting a lot of energy there, right? But it's maybe not the right moment. Yeah, do you hear how kind of he land on that? That you know, that's the last sixteenth of the measure. It's the weakest beat. Just make, so to make the point here, make the crescendo through these notes. This is where you want to come away, which is sort of natural musically, but instead go through and, and, and respect that crescendo. This, this what, you, what you got here was really nice, yeah? All right, anywhere. Yeah, really, 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 sorry, real crescendo. Just over, you know, you're trying something new, over-exaggerate the idea. Good, good, right. So that was clearly too much, certainly by here, but at least this was a real crescendo, right? So you get the feeling of what that is, yeah? Let's go back just a little bit further. Now 
a diminuendo across the measure. Yeah, and so now you've got to, you know you have to do that. So then you have to choose a sound now on top that allows you to have a little room, right? So maybe it's just a little bit too, um, too soft. Yeah. Yeah, and I w also wouldn't stop. Yeah, I wouldn't stop here. We got a long way to go, and then when I ri it's here. Yeah, one more time. It's good. And it feels like so. This is difficult. So, on the top, we're just doing this. You know, it's all, it's not, it's not slurred by the measure, right? So with the accompaniment, we have this da-da, da-da. But uh, on the top, it can't be da di da right? Da-da-di-da. Well, keep, keep your ear on that as a line. Yes. It's good. Keep going. And... And sorry, I don't know why you put an accent there. I, you're, you're probably trying to do the diminuendo. But what he's doing is so... It's going through here. It's not stop, stopping here and starting. So just make it one... Um, you can phrase this off. I just don't want, don't want you to lose time. Yeah? It's better, particularly the first two measures. So are you counting? You've got to count. So this is a trick. It's not a trick, but you know, if you count, are you, are you counting? Yeah, what are you counting? You're counting eighth notes there. I would start counting. So what's your tempo here? Let's, let's pick a tempo. So um, we're going to be a little bit slower and not a lot bit slower, right? So, mm, dum, bum, mm, hmm, hmm. So this is uh, uh, from keep what? So sorry. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. So if we do the same tempo. One, two, three, four. One, two. This is maybe slower, right? A little slower, right? We go backwards. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. All right? You with me? So. Um, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah. Change pedal on the quarter. Yeah, and this is, you know, the little geniuses of composers, right? This is deepa, and then deepa, deepa, same thing. Right? So you don't, it's, it's, he's, it's a transitional figure. Yeah? Use it that way. Yeah, and I'm going to be a little pickier still and say, we don't want to hear. <laughs> Again, put your ear on what you want to hear. You probably weren't specifically trying to hear that because you were pedaling it differently. But if you're listening to this F sharp, you will get annoyed if that's too loud. Yeah? So. Beautiful. We're back to too slow, but that's all right. Let's go on. Now we have this kind of sighing gesture, right? Leaning in. Yeah, I wouldn't wait. I wouldn't wait again. Go on, second inning. Yeah, what do you want us to hear in this measure? What do you want us to hear? Yeah, it's not coming through. Yeah? Yeah, I wouldn't wait. I wouldn't wait. You're so you're, everything's going backwards. 
this flow, 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 flow. Everything always has some kind of flow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it's, it's often not that, you, that people sort of don't know what to do. You either don't have confidence in what you're trying to do or don't demand more out of yourself, right? Because you can do that. And maybe you're like, oh, this is sort of okay. You know, push that extra little step. How can I make it not just, okay, first it needs to come out, and then it needs to come out in a character with a meaning, right? So everything, the more specific is the, what you demand of yourself and you demand of your equipment at a given moment, the more profound, you know, you're communicating more and more and more to, to the audience, right? So it's not just, hey, these E's have to come out. Well, actually, these E's have to come out because I want to have a different feeling than this here. This is something different, whatever it is. It's an octave, so do this thing. So just, just drill in on what you really want and then don't accept anything less, yeah? Any with Rennie with her. Yeah, again, you're waiting. Are you counting? You gotta count. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, see, this is never this is never good. And then you gotta say, okay, what actually is never good? This D is never good. And then you say, wait, I'm trying to bring out this E. Wow, it looks like the closer maybe said the lower voice because that's the one that continues here, right? We don't have the C sharp. Again, we don't have the C sharp, although, well, the C sharp is there. But you gotta figure that out. The other thing for all of this to think about is what else did Ravel write? Like for what other medium, media, or genres? Well, for orchestra, right? This piece could be easily orchestrated. You know, and so, you know, you can choose whether you want, oh, you say winds, fine, oboe, clarinet, right? Something different here, you know? Violas, sorry, it was up there. Uh, could be anything that you choose. You've got another specific color, and you play in here, you know, this violins, um, high cellos. You can, you can do anything, you know, that seems to make sense to your ear, but that helps you, okay? Um, all right, we're low on time. Anything else I needed to tell you? Oh, let's just do this really quick. Uh, um, so you go from here crescendo, and then just gra grade your diminuendo, okay? So not too soft too soon. And arrive. And still. Good, good. And then you have to figure out what's, what's better in, that, in one aspect, and then you know probably the accompaniment is too loud, right? So just again listen when, especially in here, that these notes, you know, when you're accompanying, also this is uh, when you're collaborating with somebody, anytime you have accompanimental melody, sorry, accompanimental material in the same octave as your melodic material, is where you have to be really careful. So if you're playing with a, a violinist and they're playing this top, and you have these notes here, when they're just a third away. You have to be so careful because that's where you will cover, right? And so now you're covering yourself, yeah? <laughs> but, um, so just be aware of that. It's good. And let's just do the end and try. I want to I want to hear your best quadruple piano there, okay? What do you think? Can you play softer? How do we play softly? Like physically, like with the instrument, mechanically, what, what happens to play softly? Yeah, slow, the, the, the slower the key is depressed, the softer the sound, right? Can you play more slowly? Yeah, you stay, 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 it's difficult, but you want to stay you know, in general, you could you could afford to chill out a little bit, yeah? Yeah, just be a little more relaxed. Supple, 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 supple. Relax, breathe. 
Yeah. And so you're almost good until I feel like this the top note could be even softer. Yeah. And if it doesn't go the first time, you can do it again. But I would look at it also. I wouldn't just sort of, you know, give the effect of pianissimo, oh, dreamy, and play loudly, you know. It's okay to be focused on it and look at it. And yeah? And it could be that that note is louder than the A sharp, right? You know, the, maybe it's not voiced well, but now we know that, so try again. Better. But yeah, you sit down, you know, it could be the first thing you have to the recital to play, you have to play this piece, it could be the first thing you do when you get to the piano. What's gonna happen where I want this super special? How do I do that? Okay, great, beautiful playing. Great. Say hi to your teacher. Okay, all right, great to have you.
this is very good. Um, uh, I find this a very tricky movement um, for a lot of lot of different reasons. Um, uh, your energy is good, um, uh, with a few different kinds of issues, I think. Um, Yeah. Um, so the uh, the issues, some of them are around voicing of your loud chords. I think you want to be um, more specific about which pitch we should hear. So you know, if it's we need this. So these three, one note versus five, right? How do we so? You say maybe I need the bass. You can't play these louder than this, yeah? And that's, that's your limit, right? I mean, you can, you know, there's an argument that maybe you, if you say, you know, I want that, and uh, you're thinking, you know, I mean, even, you know, great orchestras still, the conductor's voicing um, uh, uh, instruments. Um, you know, maybe here you're saying, the D flat is most interesting, right? But I think the more, even if you want a bigger sound of this, you don't want, if you want a big sound, try and put it here as opposed to in the middle. Yeah? Um, so that's one thing. That's sort of an easier thing to look at. Um, are you listening at all for... Are you listening for that at all? Yeah. So... Uh, so when we get to this cool chord... We've, we're, we've prepared it. Okay. Um, and all these things, you know, that's, that's like a, what we call voice leading. You know what that is? Sort of coming from Bach, but, you know, it's, it's the organization of lines and how uh, um, independence lines work in a, with, within its own uh, integral, in, you know, the line that has its integrity, and then maybe... In this case, we're looking at, if you look at soprano, you say, soprano. But, you know, we have our uh, uh, um, low alto. Uh, da -da -da, and we see that that actually, you know, he elides the two, right? So just being aware of that brings, brings cohesion uh, to, to our ear and to your playing. Um, the other issue has to do with it's a little bit tricky, um, but it's not in some ways. So uh, we have downbeats, and they have been, we've been told that they are really important, right? And um, then we have weaker beats, which are um, less important, right? Uh, so a figure like this was similar with this. You know, where is the beat? This is starting on beat two, so we really don't want to play one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and two, and the only reason that matters is is that sforzato. If we're already playing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, right? It's not a surprise. Okay. So that's, that's, you sort of get going into it a little bit more as you go on, um, you, you were better at that, but that specific instance wasn't so great. Now, we come to this, uh, hum, bum, bum, bum. What, are we, what are we going for? A lot of times, you, you know, your excitement level is right, but maybe not for the, not focused on the right reason. So we, we're on, sort of on this pedal tone. You know what a pedal tone is? Yeah? We're on what a silver, this is what we'll be calling a dominant pedal, right? So we're, we're in E flat, we get this. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, E flat, we have five, and then we have five of five, right? So for the uh, end of the exposition, we want to get to five, right? So we have this pedal, and we're sitting there, and we don't know how long this, this movement's going to go, right? So we have F pedal, and this goes back to pedals on the organ. Right? You sit there with that pedal tone, just sitting there, boom, 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 just waiting, everybody's waiting for it, boom. 
for the resolution, right? So this is the amplification. <laughs> and we're waiting for this. So it's a, it's precisely the moment. There it should come, right? Whoa! Not at all, buddy. Here we go on to something else, you know? And so you got lost. We got the big fort fortissimo, but the harmonic relevance was not there because you weren't put, you didn't hear this and set us up for, you were setting us up in your ear. You practice at this moment. you understand it, yeah? So that's a little issue there. Um, da, 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 same thing. And two, one. Now, uh, here again, um, I see you know, things that have been written, but I would focus on the no crescendo. And so this, you've got a direction forward, but I wouldn't play all of these notes equally. Now, it's forzato. So really key on and have that energy, but it doesn't no. It's exceptionally dynamic, like electric, you know, like a, a, a volt of electricity, yeah? Crescendo in one measure, good. Um, same thing. This, you know, I know how difficult this is, I don't play this, but the problem here is always that this is still fortissimo, unrelentingly so. It's crazy, right? It's not easy to do, but just keep that in mind. Now we get to the big issue, is what is what, what's a syncopation? It's a strong note, it's not a longer note on a weaker beat, and it's, it's a strong note on a weak beat, right? And, and uh, um, so we have in this case the sforzando on the third eighth note in a six eighth, right? Now, it only exists as a weak beat in its relationship to the strong beat. So if you lose time, and we're not always hearing we're here, so if we start hearing again, that's that displacement where it starts to feel like and we, we always have to feel the strong beat. And composers, you know, particularly Schumann was always amazing at you know, his, he exists on these syncopated beats with melody, but he always makes this, when it, when it corrects to the beat, it's always fantastic. So um, it's a good exercise in that. So even places you're kind of being musical about it, but you're losing time. And then when you, the moment you've got, you know, I don't know what we're talking about here in terms of if that's like a quarter of a second or half a second, but once you start losing those incrementally, then we lose the feeling of syncopation. It's a very refined thing, but I start, you really want to hear, you know, I practice metronome uh, on eighth notes, you know, and it, it doesn't matter the tempo really, but just to have, then there's a restlessness and a breathlessness and a, and a uncomfortability, you know, and Beethoven really loved making us uncomfortable, you know, and he, you know, rectifies it later, but, you know, uh, really goes for it. So, to you, Right, then this becomes much more meaningful the, when you get to this second big beat of this measure here. Oh, so, mm. becomes very conclusive. Yeah, so that's a, an inner pulse thing, and it's long here. You took too much weight. Are you counting? Let's do a little bit under tempo and count. Just count eighth notes. Yeah. And 
I think sometimes I think your ace note sometimes comes a little bit earlier. It comes a little bit early. I'll do it. I'll do it. Sorry, do it one more time. Seven, seven, seven. Yeah, and can your, can your, also, can your, so your one doesn't have to feel as strong as your sforzando, but it has to feel like one. So you don't want this to feel. It has to feel like one. Your one is your springboard, right? So it's not a one is not a downbeat, but it's a springboard. Bum ba, bum ba. Yeah. This is better. I don't. Do you feel it? The difference in what that is? Yeah. All right. Um, and it seems like there's another long passage like that. Uh, yeah. Uh, I would not. Again, you know, Beethoven. There's a motor. There's always a motor. You know, when you start looking at how many consecutive, you know, from here, how many consecutive eighth notes, the motor is always going. And that motor is still going, you know, all the way through here, even here. Your timpani is already going through this. I wouldn't, I don't think there's any, you know, there's a rest there, there's already time. We don't need more time. This doesn't add anything, the extra time, yeah? So uh, keep that motor going. What can we play? Oh, and at the end, same thing in the motor. Look at the end of this. We have a rest for the rest of the measure and a fermata. With that, those, all, he, when he puts a fermata at the end of a movement after the playing's already stopped, he does this all the time. There's a rest, you know. That's, that's, that's where the breathing happens, right? Not like... No. Yeah? All right. Um... All right, let's just start at the beginning and see what we, what we get to. So right now we're listening, uh, so voicing, uh, and what, do, what, I mean, you know, I, I just like to think of this as, as like a, a do, what, do, you have, do you have an instrument that you imagine here? Trumpet? Yeah, and too low. <laughs> it would not sound good at all. So what else? You said first a cello? That's fine, but I think, Yeah, so, so let's be clear. What are you doing with your pedal? It's probably in the way, right? Yeah, and the tunes are beeple, beeple. And what's your sound? Yeah, do you hear this chord? What note is, play the chord. What note is too loud? It's better, it's getting better. But when you play the chord, let's say, I'm gonna do this. What note is too loud? This one? So if I play, as it decays, what note do you hear? Yeah, and do you know why that had, had tends to happen? No, you see my, my lovely little fingers here? And then I've got this thumb. It's this and all of this. Our thumb just wants to be loud. If there's ever a melody in the thumb, you never have to project it, because it's just gonna be there by virtue of this. So any, the largest, most, uh, you know, repeat offender for voicing obstruction is the thumb. So turn your hand out a little bit and, and just be mindful. But any chord you play, you can listen in the decay. 
What note is too loud? This is still loud, but... Now, mind you, the, the lower note is going to last longer because it's a longer string, but it's a good indicator. Okay, so be really precise. Yeah, but it's piano. We're in, we're in piano. Yeah, sorry. Can you just play it? Sorry, sorry. I'm not happy. Play that chord. Just, just the right thing. You like that? Like the first chord, yeah, good, good. And now, now play the play with the, the first note. Yeah, but we need to hear the timpani, right? There you go. Okay, try from there. Try from there. Yeah. And, and sorry, so where your, your engine has started. Keep the engine, feel it going, yeah? Yeah, again, what's your, how's your... What's your voicing going to be on that chord? Yeah, fine, fine. I wouldn't, yeah, I'm not going to object to that. Yeah, and so don't, don't say, okay, now here I'm bringing another voice. That voice just enters, yeah? Almost enters under. If you play uh, the string quartets, there's a line going, da -da 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 -da. the person that joins the line comes in underneath and then shows up. It's not like, here I am, it's my turn. Yeah? So. Keep going. And, yeah, so you're coming in very strongly. Just let it sneak in. Just let it join in. It's, 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 you know, you're playing tournaments, coming in, it's just, just join in. We're going to hear it. There's only one line going. It's not like five lines going and the sixth one's trying to fight for space. Yeah? Coming in off the end, yes, and whoa, wow, focus that stuff. Be careful with the pedal again. It's just clunky, yeah? I don't have the answer, but that's not it. Hmm? Yeah, don't, you're kind of hunkered down and say, here it comes in. Just really try and really... Uh, don't make a big deal out of it. Just let it come in. Just try it and see how you feel. Yeah, can you actually... Let's, let, let's try something else. Keep listening to the left hand. Keep listening to that as this comes in. See if that helps you. Yeah, sorry. Uh, what is happening there? Yeah, the left hand. You see this long slur under here, right? So just, just don't, 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 don't. It feels like you're starting. Better. and that needs to be softer in the piano. This is an interesting moment to me. I haven't yet figured it out because we have fortissimo and we have this, we have this kind of you know, overgrown sigh. It's kind of a sighing figure, but this still is still fortissimo. It's interesting to me, it's a problem. So you do it here, but now here, bah, he puts his forzando on the second one. So while still having, well, you still want to have a well, you don't want to play fortissimo. If you're too soft here, there's no contrast. Right, so keep some body in that second chord, find a play a little bit less, but then know that you're going to hammer it there, so to speak. Okay? Last thing. Go ahead. 
do want to suggest that maybe we need to reconsider because this is not marked back up to fortissimo. So just think about that. Okay, we're out of time, but I hope you, you know, got something out of it. You play very well. Thanks. Yeah.
Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's uh, I think it's a very, very good performance, uh, actually. I should invite next person after that, because that's a, it's a, like shows an understanding of everything and uh, great execution, great characters. Um, a little bit to, to involve the audience in to this, you of course know why the, the has those names, right? Oh, the yes, no, like those names. <laughs> yes, one uh, less at you and uh, <laughs> not on for me. The, to, to oh. <laughs> Why? Why is written? So Why? Because he has a, a, a prince and for his friends he has a prince, prince actually. A prince, yes. <laughs> he has to leave. Uh, it used to be a prince, if I, if I don't get this one entirely correct, but he has to leave because of because of a, a, a prince. Napoleon. Napoleon, Napoleon, Napoleon was going to uh, intrude into the into the Austria. Yeah. yeah. So, so it was his like he was super religious Beethoven, but for him uh, the the, this um, archduke, how they called archduke, it's like prince, he was the near the god. He was everything, and a patron, and the boss, and the, and student, and a dear friend. So yes, so he had to he had to leave um, uh, Vienna, and that's why the the first one, the the movement called um, Les Adieu, or like farewell. In a, in a in a German uh, Levy wall, and um, so introduction. This introduction to this uh, is a just really very sad moment because just like express this feelings which we feel about uh, goodbye, saying goodbye. But that's probably it uh, I about sad movement. This movement has a lot of energy a lot of small characteristics, very interestingly written with uh, such a details of composition details, maybe even unlike uh, previous sonatas. Um, and what I like that most of them, what, what is going on, you interpret it, but really, really it's unusual even for Beethoven, those s small changes, constant changes of characteristics of, uh, of feelings. So, w one more must thing I will ask you to do is uh, uh, could you the show that so this motif is a um,
I hear, because it sounds obvious, like imitation of French horn, to the so I hear that it will be this, this, and then, and then, then, because it's a C minor. I think you, you got it, like, to my liking. So you, this is a more profound. So basically, it goes to C minor. So this already for us under spell, under the spell of C minor. If it will be written like this, then C minor, of course, will be weaker. But this is this. So it's right. So now, um, can you when we go? This. It's unusually this register interp he interprets like intense register, you know. So in some, you know, there's like a divine register, like like that, like a piercing register. Sforzato doesn't mean, of course, like some heat. This register is not capable, but intense. So gross intensity. Can you understand? From here. And, and continue intensity of that. From here. You can sound Yeah, yeah maybe it's That's a watch. This is doing this, you are cutting continue here. You see? Continue, like a long beat to going to the continue. Continue. So surprisingly and unusually, of course, for texture like this, that is our climatic moment. That moment. but in expression. So, yeah. And after that, music goes down. Not only geographically, da, 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 of this and this, and this and this and this and this. And this. But, so all this drama, and continue, ta, 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 ta. 
And then, if you really build this, then it's a way down, like exhaling. And then this sounds different. You know, all this music that they, we had before, yeah? All those things become divine, some relaxing, right? So that's very important, I think, in the production, this moment, to build tension of the first line. And on the second line, it's like just enough. Drama is, is leading the way. So, so. And then I can just, I always talk to myself, what does it mean? <laughs> like, what? He left, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what does it mean in this level less of view? I just always was wondering. Probably, probably, more, more obviously, that you know from, uh, with the many composers, this thing, you know what, at least you know this, uh, you know, it's a sugar on a road, song on a road, so it goes, da -da 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 -da. you know, e e e even uh, in, in our today program will be Chopin Sonata. See, so this is obviously the symbol of moving and galloping. Um, so, uh, my, uh, to, to finish with the, with the first, uh, the, uh, with the introduction, the, what is the, um, this? I think it should be um, um, some meaning. So it could, I think, it could be like this vanishing thing. So like a, and, and that. like this, like going away, or some pianist interpret it like, like, you know, like, I can, I cannot, can I go already? You know, like, can I? So, so, or goes away and all of a sudden starts this allegro, or that. It will, not only if you feel it, what you want, it will already will, will, will come across. But I think it's a, in a in a articulation, a length note will show. If you cannot wait, it will be a little bit shorter, like this. And um, if it will be uh, vanishing, so it's a weakening. So you know, me like like this. So length of note, especially like in a classical music is a, is a, one of the most important things for the, for the interpretation. I will just like will tell you a story. It's very interesting. We had one in a St. Petersburg in Russia when I was young, a genius conductor. He was invited from Germany, Kurt Sunderland, absolutely genius. Rude, obnoxious man. All his, it was horrible for orchestra. They just like were so afraid of him. But he did like especially German music. He, he did it, did wonderfully. So once we we students had a task for rehearsal. So one rehearsal, he was rehearsing something like this, like like some length of note. And so they would play no. He was just screaming no. So he asked to concert master, what's the length of this note? He was. Eight, sir? No, wrong, wrong. Like, just, no, sir, it's, it's a, but sir, what, what do you think it is? It will be what I want, what my interpretation tells me. He said, he said, right now I want you prolonged. He wanted it not, uh, but a little bit. So it's very true on the piano even more. Okay, so now, um, that's the first, like, a change, right? Uh, Prompt. This is a very difficult 
change at much more than forte piano and probably even not so forte and piano. It could be in the same uh, dynamic. <laughs> So it's a matter of energy and all of a sudden re relax it. Can we, can we try this? It's a just really the physical sensation when you play ta da dum 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 I am forcing you, and then I say, okay. And you're like, well, thank God, like, <laughs> so, so let me go. So it's a more release uh, than like a dynamic. Be, be afraid to exaggerate Subita of dynamic because it takes away from the second phrase. Like, you know, it's a it's, it's a just a nice, beautiful ta da 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 da. Only actually, in a in a classical music, when you see forte and piano, they uh, the classical composers didn't mean uh, loud and soft. It meant that, um, uh, so piano, it will be, you're looking for, or tender, or scherzo, or mysterious, whatever it is, but you're looking in that area. Forte, energy, drama, tragedy, what, whatever it is, but that means change of, of something, rather than, rather than, and of course in orchestral music, it, it, it has great deal with the change of instrumentation. So imagine like um, it, in a Beethoven symphony, it will be some brass and wind, some da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, and then start and then string section. It will be very helpful to all of you if you will listen Beethoven, uh, Beethoven symphony. Any, like starting from early, one, three, or third symphony, you will be amazed. The same line of music, one instrument starts, then another group continues, then it goes to strings, then it goes to brass. So it, uh, he changed small, small motif, he changed the timbre, the way it goes. So I think it's very inspiring. And uh, that's why instead of uh, change dynamically much, it will be very good if you will try. Can we do it for that, for the fact of this, a little bit slower? Something like this, sorry. Yeah, from here. Before you will know what are you doing here, you have to know that it's one line. What you did, it's one line of music. So why you are after that, you play that more. So main note, the, the, the line of this music, not this, but So when we play ta da dam, we have to be careful. You see? So the oh, obvious thing, quarter has to be a little bit heavier, more significant than eighths. Yeah, and plus line. Can you play in this line? You're, you're looking into, into the score. So first of all, of course, it tracks attention. And then, you see, and then go to the Can it again do the same? Yeah. <laughs> yes, you should. You should, you, should, you should, that's your, that's your line of music. Plus, da -dum, da -dum. so if just somebody will say, can you remind me 
what, how it sounds, you will say, ta-da-dum, 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 ta-da-dum. We cannot even give with our voice, ta-da-dum, we can. So, ta-da-dum, ta-da-dum, ta-da-dum. It doesn't mean those notes will be weak at all. But they just don't have time to be pronounced like ta-da-dum, ta-da-dum, ta-da. So I just really strongly recommend you to you play um, one line and without ta-da-dum and, uh, and create the line to your liking. So first of all, hello, just I'm here, and then leading along, boom, boom, boom. That's your line of music. Okay, you'll, I will leave you alone with this, okay? <laughs> so, can you do this? If you are on, so. No, no, that's, that's not strong enough. Remember, we are like promising, 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 then ah, it's not like nothing. Then, it's a, the articulation of this, like a sparsato style, like explanation. Again, not volume, but yes, yes. And as soon as you talk this A flat, you are responsible for this. You know, ta, ta, la, la, pa, pa. So it's a to be continued. You understand? Yes, very good. Wait, G is the queen. E, E flat, it's a, it's a grace note. The G is the tonic. I mean, dominant, but I mean part of the chord, right? Can you play like this? You need to bring it together. Of course, it will be a little bit probably less than E flat. We cannot play. I understand it. But, but not, not other sort. It's the same sort. So what I suggest you, and you then can c come up with a, another um, technical uh, versions of how to make transition from that and to this. So we are playing strictly octaves. So like thumb plays as, as big roll, like two voices. And now try to play next octave with a prevailing top, look. Try much more to give sound, so thumb, a little say to thumb, like conductor, <laughs> like a little bit. Try just this line. More solid the same sound. Yeah, and all the same. Not pretending that's very difficult. Hmm? Just opposite. It's a relaxing. Yeah, yeah. You, you know what? It's really, seriously, our body has to believe what, what we feel. You see, if you will say, I'm very relaxed, you know, I'm so, <laughs> just today, totally relaxed. You can, you probably can as a great ar uh, artist to, to try. I'm, I'm very relaxed. No, it's very, it's a difficult, right? And like one, we had a professor in a St. Petersburg Conservatory. He was incapable of anything like saying strong. And we all, it was so laughable. He would say sometimes, really angry. I'm very angry. I'm so just I'm so angry at you, and like no expression. So obviously, when you, you say this, something can body. So really, when you play this, so see that it agrees with you that you believe that your body believes that that's a pleasant. Okay, I have a, a question um, to you, and like a question for the future. Um, what is the, what is the motif, next motif? Is a, 
Oh. Okay, what is more hit in that? <laughs> is uh, this or Is a, is a, it's a music with a, a beat that. You see this, if I will untie next music, what happens? Ta -ta, and then ta -ta, ta -ta. It's a, all consists of a beat. And that what I consider more material. Everything like black and white, because when we playing, it's not like it's not like that. You see, so last note G already understand where it is. You see already, but but this motif. Just for your future to 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 think, and uh, I just wanted to uh, just quickly um, let us go here um, the theme. So so another another question. It uh, has to be interpreted that everybody will understand you do it. It has to do with the inflection. Has to do with the dynamic, um, so, or, finishing, and now going to another motif. See? No, let me go, no, I will go to another, you know, obviously in a symphony it will be all in another instrument. Uh, or, you go and finishing, how you felt? So when I played it, I think I felt mostly the way you played it the second time. I felt that it was the idea that it kind of slowly, uh, the phrase kind of went downward. Uh huh. Okay. It's a just, you see, uh, you cannot after the concert to say, everybody, I will explain you what, what I meant. It has to be clear in your performance, okay? So then at the end, and then you different tone, right? And everything different. Okay, and so we have to finish. <laughs>
very dramatic, great, great spirit. Um, take this like this, we will need some, some detail. And, uh, oh, wait a minute. Yes, I, I, I need, I'm blind totally. Uh, well, I don't know where they, I thought they're there, <laughs> but they're not. You don't see even them. Okay, Spencer, it's just, I like it musically. Again, I have to, to tell all of you like a, a little bit, and uh, if you are with slate, you, you see it. That it's uh, um, also for me, like uh, in Beethoven's case, it was some unique um, uh, sonata. This is also for me um, very special music. First of all, Beethoven taught lesson of how to write sonata allegro, the first movement of sonata. Like, I think nobody, like uh, Mozart or Beethoven could do that job like he, because it's uh, so compact, it's uh, so clean, it's uh, just only three things, there is no, no nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Every, this is it. This is how short, how compact. Usually between themes we have a bridge theme. Nothing. Very, very accumulated three characters. And so that's the, for me first very, very special moment obliges us to be very precise with those three characters. It's not it's like, you wait, I will develop it. No, it's just like really only, only three. And another, that that's a very theatrical, which is, which is um, not very common for Chopin. Chopin, like I would say, anti-theatrical, with more about deep feelings, poetry, those things. And this is all like this, you know, all gestures like this, taking only the introduction, right? Rachmaninoff <laughs> plays. So, um, every, and that's why, like gestures, for instance, to the taram, 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 and all of a sudden, you see, it's a, like keeping a taram, taram, ah, you know, it's a glitter, ah, like those things, especially. All those gestures, like they oblige us to be precise with this, precise. Like what you do when you do uh, here, what, you, what your sound, what your expression, everything very conscious and then, that's probably the difficult thing I would think about sonata because we all feel the drama and the agitation of this, uh, but this is with, it, to avoid monotone, like you know, like all the same, we have to know. So that's that's the two things if I can say in common. Okay, okay. So that's um, for me is uh, important to have in mind and work on a specific what I do. For instance, I'll and here. You see the difference? And a little bit like a crying, and then crying. If you will tell if I'm thinking what, what I try to do different, like in this particular case. So I'm looking, what? Because as you do it with the instinct, so I use less left hand second time here, like this. And now a little bit more distant. 
this end, so left hand yields a little bit. Again, like I, in the case of the Beethoven sonata, uh, I, I play more by soprano second time, more double notes, and more, more this. So those all details you, you or invent or your, your teacher helps you. But the important that you know what you're looking for, because everybody express differently those small moments. Okay, so let us go in the beginning. We have a two motive, right? One is um, this one, and another. Which motive, like uh, I think you, you maybe will change your mind later, but for today, which motive more intense, more grabbing attention of all? Second, I think, I th think two. Um, and it, again, it doesn't mean that it has to be louder, but that's more expressive. If it will be an orchestra, I think, if I have to put it in orchestra, it's so obvious, so, so like some double basses and Cello solo, and some, I don't know, trombone or something. Yeah, some, so you, it's so obvious that that will be wow, and this is more mild. In a, in a piano, it's a kind of different because this register is very impressive, right? The so we are not competing with a volume, but with expression. Uh, can you play me just this alone, the second one? Can you open it? This one. You, you start where you ba your bass goes. Can you? Just from here. Just play me from here. Not that much. Yeah? Strong. Strong. Because basically it's a so not like this and then but okay, so just just You're playing be beginning uh, with the clarity, the first two lines. Then it's not so clear, much clear, but in the beginning, very good. With agitation, strong. To, to be honest, I, did, I didn't exactly get what the expression, because remember, that's so theatrical. So if you, if you play like, um, like some lost, you know, like running for somebody. So you you want, of course, left hand more distant, right? So this, if you want, for instance, more vocalized, right? Like a little bit, like almost song. You use a little bit pedal, like like this, like I, I just didn't get that. Is a doesn't matter actually what you exactly do. The intention usually come across, so but I, I didn't get it. So what do you think? It's strong, it's a just powerful music. What kind of the opening? More like what? Like what? Like like this? Ah, you mean first that I said more. 
here like, like this, yeah. So then, then if you want, then you're looking for cup, yeah? So first of all, um, left hand, which is more difficult, but has to be much on the background. You see this idea? Can you turn the trailer set up? Yeah, yeah, even softer. Yeah, so now you're looking for pick difference. Bit. So avoid this. You see, avoid togetherness of the hand. This is just a sense, like it. So it's an it's engine of this music, right? And until you will find what great, if you want this choking, you know, for the, you know, like a desperate for, for the breath of music, start with a no pedal. And then you will decide how much and where you want. For instance, you are playing like a without. Then a little bit. Of. See, a little bit, and it already sounds different. So um, now, because this motif, tadam tadadam, goes so much in a development, right? You really have to fix one technique because otherwise you cannot play it strong. It's a tadam, and especially, so you cannot play legato this. It has to be. Today I will show you. Can you play me those two thirds? Those two thirds. Yeah, yeah, you don't, don't be afraid to hurt yourself. <laughs> you, you, will, you will be okay. Just wait and wait. Tadam, tadadam. Wah, here, this. Tatadam, tatadam. Can you play me this? More, 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 more. Yeah, ta down. Yes, exactly. Open, open, and on the pedal, ta ta down. Two, two motions. Yes. Again, it's a ta tam. You see, if you pronounce ta tam, you are long, will never pronounce na lam. You will give, not only you will give equal. Energy. You actually for the first one will give instinctively tatam, tatam, papam, tatam. So everywhere. So where you started? Um, let us uh, let's say ta. You're ta ta ta. This step, this thing, the same technique. Like, can you play me this one? This. No, 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 not this. Remember, this this note is a grace note. When you that, a not yeah, the same, totally the same, with the accent on the first. Raise your hand. Continue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's absolutely right. Because when you play it, you play it. You see? So instead of tadam, tadam, you play ta, tadam. Even at the very beginning, if you, if we will have this as a, as a slow move, as a slow melody. We will sing this way. Right? We will not sing. We will inflect like this. As soon as it's passed, somebody will ask me, can you try to remind how it sounds? I will say, I will not sing. No time for that. Ask anybody. Yes, it's an instant. So, Articulation of each note here and trick is when they become double notes is a, is a growing. Okay, so that 
take it as a, your exercise, everyday exercise. Your, your movement will become much stronger, especially here. Uh, yeah, especially in a climate. Okay, so now, um, interesting um, that uh, this theme, written piano, and then this, the, the second, written for, how you understand it? Do you, do you have, I don't have any secret uh, to explain it, but I have to I like explain to myself. What do you think? Why he wrote piano here and forte when it's uh, actually tender, more feminine? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, so I, I, I agree with you. And also I think that um, because he gave it to this register, probably almost like a French horn, like this. So when you give French horn uh, uh, direction to play piano, it's still very profound. It's a different piano. So if it will be written forte for me here, here, forte, then it, I will change my attitude to the forte in this register. Because no, 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 warm. But it's a warmth of some big instrument. sound was a little bit shallow to, to my to my taste and this one yes written forte but you know forte of violin you know what else we can what we can do with this but yes open open to people and especially it's a has a such a big development um, is it difficult for you to play um, from here? Sorry. Like first time when I, I heard you, uh, left hand doesn't participate in this. Uh, so. Gives an enormous volume. It sounds like this. See it? we try again maybe from here and this pay attention to this bottom line Uh, this part um, a little bit like this uh, how you finish what will be emphasis it's written sforzato on a, on a, on a previous but it's a romantic music yeah. hmm? okay. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, okay. Just think of this. That has to be an, an idea, really. So now this one, lacking energy, I'm just thinking why you play everything fine. I think two, two, two moments. First, more uh, grouping. See, ta 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 ta, coupling. Second, to make one line. So one cover, ta 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 ta, and this even more intense, bright. So that you have a this way up. It sounds like this. It doesn't sound like this. You see. Not dynamic, not in terms of loudness. But yeah, can we try? Ta 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 ta. Yeah, in order, good, good, better. Uh, in order to play differently, second time differently. Do not play soft ending. Do not play. Play all, all the way bright. Only from here. Okay. And the last thing, we don't have any time, so last thing. Then. And instead of ending, sit. Surprise, don't miss this. It's a total surprise. So after last group, we have this. You you like a play ta -ta -ra -ta -ra 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 -ra. like not big deal, big deal. <laughs> in a in a finish. Okay? Thank you and don't forget. Don't forget to say hello. hello.